Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be doing a review on the Grip Equipment BX3 bag. This is about $230 brand new. A lot of professional players use Grip bags, not this specific one. They use more heavy duty, the bigger bags. This is the BX3, they use the AX5 I'm pretty sure. So it just has a bit more storage or like disc storage. So let's start with the comfort and the durability. For the comfort, this bag is very light, at least compared to a lot of other bags. And it, the pad, there's a lot of padding on the back. There's especially a lot of durability or uh, padding on these straps. It is a very durable material. You can tell it's gonna last for a long time. There's also this little Velcro thing here, which you can put patches on. Now for the storage, it has a lot of storage compared to a lot of other bags. There are, oh, yes. This is to expand the side pockets. These side pockets are the exact same on both sides. So this will just expand the pockets if you need to hold more stuff. As I said, there's a lot of storage in here. There's this little couch here and your hand can fit really far down there. So it has a lot of storage for like sweatshirts or umbrellas or whatever you need to put in there. There is one of these side pockets on both sides that you can put like a mini or like a range finder or something like that. There are two pencil holders or like pen holders on both sides to put like little pencils for your scorecards. So, and then there are two really heavy duty water bottle holders. They're insulated, so keep them cooler and or warmer for longer. And then for the storage, there's this little pocket here it cannot fit a disc, sadly, but you can put, like, a phone or something like that in there. And then there are two pockets here. This top one's a bit deeper than this one. You can put minis or little scorecards or phones or whatever you have, but it cannot fit a disc. It's pretty close, but it doesn't. On the... AX5 bags, it can fit a disc, but since this is a smaller bag, this won't fit in there. And then these, this pocket right here is not used for holding discs sometimes, but they can be used to hold discs. It can fit about two, but there is this little D-ring, whatever you call this thing, that you can put your keys on so they don't go everywhere. And then there are two pockets like hidden pockets, so you can put your phone or wallet in there and no one will find it. Now for the disc compartments. The top compartment up here can hold four discs at max, and then here can fit two discs, two or two putters. You could probably fit three uh, fairway or distance drivers. So that'd be good for like your putting putters. Then down here, oh yeah, there's a little Velcro pouch or patch here so you can stick that back there and then when you pull out discs it doesn't come out with it and then down here there are 13 fairway or distance drivers and then five four mid ranges and one putter so it kind of just depends on how many mid ranges or putters you bag and yeah so it can hold about 21 to 24 discs i'm pretty sure on the website they say that it holds 21 discs but they don't count this as disc storage so it's really about 23 you can fit a range finder here you can put it in through this thing and stick it through there so it kind of it's secure then there are two d rings or i guess triangle rings at the top that you can put your towels or like your range finder it's a bit on the more expensive side but that's really what you get when you get a bag with really good disc storage and accessory storage. And this bag will last you a long time. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.